Welcome to our lesson about animating fades. We're going to pick up where we left off in our previous lesson. Let's click on Animation Timeline in the Animate panel. And let's activate the Fade command. The first thing to do is select a component to which we'll apply the fade. I'm going to select the cap. Now let's specify the start position. I'm going to set it at 100% opacity. The end condition will be 0% opacity. In other words, the cap will disappear at the end of this animation. And for duration, let's enter 5 seconds. Let's click OK, and let's expand the timeline. We'll drag the slider to see how it looks. Notice that the cap moves, and now it disappears. Let's explore how we can manipulate the timeline a little bit. Let's right-click on this bar, select Copy Action, and right-click and select Paste Action. Now I can grab and drag the handle to move my animation. Let's resize it. And let's preview it again by dragging the slider. Now it disappears. Let's select and delete that animation. And now let's right-click and select Mirror. We can grab and drag the bar of animation. Now let's preview by dragging the slider. Now the cap moves backwards and disappears. Let's select and delete that animation. And I'll move the start position of this bar over here. Now watch what happens now. The cap will move for the first three seconds, then it'll stay stationary, and then it'll disappear during the last two seconds. Let's go ahead and render. Size, let's leave it at 320 by 240. Output tab, let's check preview, no render. And let's change the time range to 5 seconds. We'll change the video name as well, click on the Save button, enter video. Type of file will be an AVI file, and let's click Save. And now we're ready to render. Let's accept the codec, click OK. The render output window opens. We see a total of 51 frames. And it's going at a pretty good clip. We can see the remaining time of 5 seconds. The rendering is almost done now. And now Inventor launches its player. We can see how the video works. Let's use the controls to play it again. The cat moves. Then it stops. And then it disappears. And this concludes our lesson about animating fades.